Frederick Forsyth's The Day of the Jackal was made into a outstanding motion picture starring Edward Fox, Mikhail Lonsdale and Cyril Cusack. It's about the attempted assassination of French President Charles de Gaulle. Now from a craftsmanship standpoint this film is top notch. Admittedly, George's Delarue, the composer, got away with murder on his score. There's very little music in the film, and what there is is kind of rhythmic and atmospheric and building the suspense. But where the film really shines is in its construction. Editor Ralph Kemplin received a well-deserved Oscar nomination. I would argue that he should have won the award. He got the BAFTA, but the Oscar ended up going to The Sting. An excellent film. But given the fact that Sting triumphed in the major categories such as Best Picture and Best Director, The Day of the Jackal should have at least got editing. It's one of those movies which, even nearly 50 years later, is meticulously crafted and keeps you on the edge of your seat, even when you know what's going to happen. The way that you see this cat and mouse story unfold is really something else, and they just don't make them like this anymore. Fox was magnificent in the title role. He's at times understated, brutal, and just a perfect fit for the character. When I read the book, I see him. Just like when I read Ian Fleming's James Bond novels, I see Sean Connery and no one else. Equally understated is Mikhail Lonsdale as Police Commissioner Claude LaBelle, who is brought on to hunt down and find assassin codenamed the Jackal. They don't know what he looks like. They know that he changes his identity somewhat because he takes uh, records from a dead infant and uses that to build his identity as an adult. Uh, and so <laughs> you've got this incredible dynamic between... I mean, this scene here where he goes to the gunsmith and gets his custom-made rifle, which is a, a series of hollow aluminium tubes which screw together, and then you see him test that out later on. And that scene where he tests the rifle, nothing in the Avengers or any modern film can come close to the, the chilling nature of that scene. And when you see what that rifle can do with explosive mercury bullets, ah, uh, my goodness gracious me. Excellent film. Fred Cinnamon, the director, on absolute top form. This is a great 70s film at a time when craftsmanship great acting were the emphasis today. It's all spectacle with CGI and work politics just disrupting the whole thing. This is a purer time for cinema and I would argue it's one of the finest thrillers of its kind, if not the finest, ever made.